And September so far has been mostly dry, but it's turning wet as we end the week. I'll have the details for you in just a moment. This is this September, isn't I know, it? Yeah, there's some rain around on Friday, but yes, it has been very dry. In fact, this September, it's been the driest start to a September for 50 years. Now, so far across the UK, we've only seen 7% of the rainfall that we normally would be expecting by this point in the month. So, so far, we've only been seeing just around 19.8 uh, millimetres of rainfall, and we're expecting, on average, around 96 millimetres. So a dry start to September, and it has been unseasonably warm. Over the next couple of days, we've still got those misty starts by Friday we've got some thunderstorms around but it's going to be settled again by the weekend. Now making the most of this settled weather, Mark Flower earlier went to Batemans, that's the home of Richard Kipling and also there were some fairly confused crocuses there, quite not sure uh, what season it is clearly. If you've got any photographs of course you can send them in uh, to our email address or get in touch Facebook or on Twitter. So this afternoon, again, temperatures have been really warm for the time of year. Comfortably, they've been in the low 20s, 23 or 24 degrees widely. And again, settled as we go into tonight. Clearer skies, lighter winds. Again, you're going to be seeing some mist and fog. And again, a bit more cloud cover that's going to be feeding in from the northeast. And just look at the temperatures. They're only dropping there to around 16 or 17 degrees. So another misty, murky, but quite mild start to the day tomorrow, really similar to what we saw earlier. You know, misty as you start the day by the afternoon, once again, it's going to be brightening up and still it's going to be feeling warm. So temperatures comfortably 23 or 24 degrees. And normally for this time of year, we'd be expecting to see temperatures around 17 or 18 degrees. So again, through tomorrow night, mostly settled. You might just see the odd spit or spot of rain. Temperatures again are going to be staying pretty mild, comfortably in the mid-teens. Lows there of around 15 or 16 degrees. And then as we head into Friday, a bit of a shift. We're going to be seeing temperatures again staying warm for the time of year, but also we're going to be seeing them triggering some really quite intense thundery downpours. So temperatures there, 23 or 24 degrees, but really different feel to the day. Heading towards the weekend, well, once again, we're going to be seeing some more high pressure. It's going to be building back in again. Temperatures are going to start to feel just a little bit fresher. So you're going to be seeing highs perhaps around 17 or 18 degrees, but more sunshine, particularly as we go over into Sunday. So a really settled picture for Saturday and Sunday, but Friday is when we're going to be seeing those thundery downpours. So over the next couple of days, still, even by the time we get to the weekend, those temperatures really warm for the time of year. Thursday settled really similar to what we saw today. Friday, some really thundery downpours heading towards Saturday and Sunday. Well, if you've got weekend plans, some pretty perfect weather for it. So yes, over the next couple of days, eventually we're going to be seeing some rain. But for the most part, the dry weather looks like it's going to be staying with us. Wow. She's the summer's gone on and on and on. It's pretty perfect. Yeah.